So what is WordPress? You might have heard people tell you, oh, WordPress is free, or WordPress is fast, or WordPress is more scalable. WordPress powers 40% of the internet. And while all of that is true, as a beginner, you might be wondering, like, what is WordPress? Where do you get WordPress? Do you just go to WordPress.com? Well, well, no, you don't. So in this video, I want to explain what WordPress is and kind of give you a quick overview so when you get started making your website, you have a better idea of what actually is going on, what the terms mean, and you can make better decisions to make a successful website starting from right here. So there are three main levels to WordPress. I'll explain it with a really good analogy in just a second, but starting from the big picture here, we have WordPress, which is a content management system. In essence, you can make pages, you can make blogs, you can make links, you can do everything, and it's managed, it's organized with WordPress. WordPress itself is free. It's actually through wordpress.org, but you never actually have to go to wordpress.org to manage your website. I'll explain how you do that in just a second. Another level is going to be your host. This is where your website is saved. So you make a WordPress website, you have all these pages, all these blogs, uh, images, videos, a lot of data that you can't just let it go away. Like it has to be saved somewhere so that you can access it and that everybody else can access it. And you do that on what is called a host. So for the rest of this video, uh, the hosts that we generally use and recommend, they're fast or affordable, they're called Hostinger. So I'm just gonna talk about Hostinger for this video, but keep in mind, that is the host, that is where your website is saved. Then the other level, so on the other side, on top of WordPress, you're able to get other plugins. Think of these as like applications on your phone. These are things that can uh, do all kinds of things. They can connect your website to uh, an email campaign. They can connect your website to advertising. They can, they can give you analytics about your website. They can help your website rank on Google. Different plugins that just do extra stuff on top of WordPress. So that's kind of the big picture, but here's the analogy that I like to use. Think of this as a, a document you're writing on your computer where you just wanna type up a document, you're using probably Microsoft Word. Now, Microsoft Word is analogous to WordPress. It is just a tool you use to create the website and organize everything and actually put it in like a document format is how Microsoft Word works. But when you're done, you can't just close it out. It has to be saved somewhere. So if you save it on your hard drive, that is equivalent to hosting your website on Hostinger. Now there is a fourth level to this as well, and that is going to be your domain. So when somebody types in, you know, santrellmedia.com, they hit submit on their browser. Well, the internet has to know where to go. Like, what does that mean? What does that point to? And so you'll have a domain host as a separate item. Sometimes you can do this directly through your, your host. So hosting actually does both of these very easily, but you can get a domain somewhere else. So you get a domain through like GoDaddy, for example. When somebody types in santrellmedia.com, that request goes to GoDaddy, GoDaddy says it's over there and they point to your host, which is Hostinger. Hostinger pulls up the files and says, here's the organization, here's the website. And then the viewer is able to see the entire website. That's a massive oversimplification, but in essence, that is what it is. Other things to know about WordPress. Nothing here is saved on your computer. Nothing here is reliant on your computer, meaning you can go anywhere else in the world, get any other device. And as long as you have your username and your password, you are able to sign in to your website, manage your website, and do everything that you need to do. So that's a really big benefit uh, for anybody who's making a website, obviously. But if you want to get started, what are the actual steps, right? Like, I think you have a better understanding of what the components are, but to get started, you don't go to WordPress, you don't get a domain, you don't do any of that stuff. You start off generally with the host. You start from there and you build outward. So step one is to get your host. There are a lot of hosts out there, some really great ones, some very fast ones, some very cheap ones. Uh, what we find to be the best balance, because Keep in mind, a lot of those other ones out there are just white labeled, so they're more expensive for no reason. Uh, the best one in our experience is Hostinger, so very easy to recommend. We'll have a link to them in the description, but you start off there. Then you sign up for your hosting, and then you install WordPress on there. It's literally just one button. It basically does it automatically for you. Then you're going to make a username and a password for that. You're going to choose a domain, and then that will send you over to WordPress. Now, from then on for the future, you'll basically never go back to your host, except maybe just to, to update your credit card uh, every several years to make sure that it's being paid. And I'm talking like three or four dollars per month. But from then on, you're going to go to yourdomain.com, whatever your domain is, forward slash WP admin for WordPress admin. 
And this is going to bring you to the WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to install plugins, like I said, so you can get all those other applications on WordPress. You can manage your pages, manage your blogs, manage uh, any kind of links you want. If you want uh, to cloak links using something like Pretty Links, I have a full video on how to really build out your WordPress website. And honestly, I'll add a fifth layer on here, and this is going to be a website builder on top. So you don't have to do any coding with WordPress. There are drag and drop editors that I would highly recommend you use. Like, please don't just build it from scratch using HTML or anything like that. Uh, so what I would really recommend doing is installing something like Divi or Elementor. Uh, typically those are either free to use or sometimes they're cheap to you know get the premium version. And that's going to allow you to use templates and drag and drop everything and make your website look very professional even though you might not know how to do any coding. So there you have it. Now you know what WordPress is. The next step is to go down in the description, find the tutorial that I have linked there, watch it and follow along to build your website. You can do it in just 15 minutes, uh, or you know, if you wanna follow the long one, it's like two hours to do that. But again, we don't have any courses. We don't sell anything. We don't want your money. This is all just free information. Our channel is supported with affiliate links. So if you ever want to get started at absolutely no extra cost to you, you can use our links and it helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike from Stantrell Media, and I'll see you in that tutorial. Good luck with your website.